Dear Dr. Theo and partners, we would like to thank you for your support. Dear Dr. Theo. Hi Dr. Theo. Hi Dr. Theo and partners. Hello Dr. Theo and other patients of SMUX Waterloo. Hi Dr. Theo. Hello Dr. Theo, Ms. Ching, partners and everyone. Thank you so much for sponsoring and being part of our project. And look, I'm in the toilet right now. <laughs> Hello Dr. Hello, Dr. Theo. Hi, Dr. Teo. A very warm greetings to Dr. Teo and fellow partners. Singapore Kindness Movement, World Toilet Organization, Public Hygiene Council and Restroom Association of Singapore. We would like to extend our thanks to Dr. Teo Ho Pin, MP of Bukit Panjang and the Mayor of Northwest CDC for providing his support to our project as well. This awesome project, it taught us a lot about Singapore and Singaporeans and it has given us the opportunity to see for ourselves the state of toilets around Singapore. Our Waterloo journey is a memorable experience that none of us would ever forget. To be very honest, many of us laughed when Miss Chin revealed our research study on toilets. I remember staring at the screen in disbelief when she flashed the project name Waterloo. I have named our study Waterloo. We are going to be studying the cleanliness of public toilets in hawker centres and coffee shops around Singapore. These are all the 24 project groups that you all formed yourselves into this week itself, from GHG1 all the way to G11, G6. I've programmed and branched everything, so it works well. And it's going to be very clean. I'm going to be flying off to Singapore. Everything has been equally divided amongst all 24 groups. The subject matter was a very fast difference as compared to the research study on processed foods during the last semester. After my first few work trip to survey the toilets, I fell sick, which goes to show how dirty the toilets are in Singapore. Our project is also conducted at such an impeccable timing. In this COVID-19 season, the talk about toilet cleanliness becomes of high significance. We are all year ones going on to year two pursuing different degrees. Uh, we took introductory stats as our core module, so we got to group together to be part of the Waterloo project. Personally, my group ha hasn't been very strong in their statistics knowledge, but because of this exposure to the project and Miss Ching's dedication and effort, we are able to apply this knowledge um, to the real world. On a whole, from our research, we found that the Northwest District ranked second out of all the districts on the average toilet cleanliness index and had an improved score of 48 out of 100 from 2016. Given the current COVID situation, we feel that more Singaporeans are also more receptive to toilet cleanliness and will be more receptive to these campaigns. Our team suggests that we should provide an annual report card to the owners for them to know their areas of improvement. If this soft approach doesn't work, imposing a fine may trigger these owners to take toilet cleanliness seriously. We feel that the best way forward will be to educate the public and instill a sense of ownership within us. Through this project, we have come to see toilets in Singapore in a whole new light. We can have an annual or biannual audit to, to check the state of toilets and then afterwards we can issue certificates based on their level of cleanliness. We can set up this tiered reward system where higher tiers get to be rewarded based on their level of cleanliness and the lower tiers will be punished based on how dirty they are. To conduct more regular checks and set target TCIs for each public toilet in Singapore so that the vendor will work towards keeping the toilets clean. What I've observed when surveying in different locations is that even though the actual TCI of the toilet might be quite low, the public still gives the toilet an average to above average score. And I think this is due to them accepting dirty toilets as the norm for public toilets. And that's why even though they see a dirty toilet, they don't bother reporting it as dirty. No matter how uh, well the owners or employees actually try to keep out the toilet, if the patrons don't do the same and be respectful towards these public toilets, uh, 
it won't make a change. But I was actually taken aback and I learned so much during this experience as to like how this kind of data kind of correlates to our everyday life and how statistics is actually part of our lives. So uh, I'm, I actually went to your area which you're in charge of, Bukit Panjang, to actually do a survey of some toilet. But from my experience, frankly, it was actually not that good. Most of the toilets are very dirty and that if I remember correctly, there only seems to be one toilet which seems clean. But otherwise, the rest of them is quite dirty lah. So, the clean toilet was actually a, a pretty nice initiative. So, um, I, if I remember correctly, it's initiative with some clean toilet program lah. So, I think more hawkers can actually work with the clean toilet program in order to get better lah. Um, yeah, okay. I'm actually very proud as to the achievements that we've got over the years. And I think that uh, we shouldn't remain complacent and there's still lots of room for improvement. Hi everyone, before Waterloo, I didn't know that toilet cleanliness was such a big deal in Singapore. Before we solve a problem, we must first recognize that unclean toilets are an issue in the first place. The virus outbreak highlighted the necessity of keeping our sanitation level to a reasonable standard. Although currently there is public awareness for cleanliness, we feel that the public might return back to the mentality of back to business mindset, right? To prevent this, what we suggest is a proactive public awareness campaign to highlight the unsung heroes that cleans our toilets daily. For example, we, can, we could feature toilet cleaners in posters and giving them the recognition and encouragement to do better. We managed to overcome our struggles to, together to, during the outbreak. Now, the project taught us resilience, consistency and time management even in times of crisis that prepares us for the future career. Especially in this time of COVID-19 where it's all the more important that people have a hygienic place to wash their hands and do their business in order to prevent the spread of diseases. Well, when I started this survey, I had really high expectations of the sanitation standards in Singapore. However, when I went about serving the toilets, I was pretty disappointed. Findings were discouraging at times. I can still vividly remember talking to this uncle who was in charge of cleaning the toilets after closing for the day. So his passion and the zeal to maintain a clean toilet uh, gave us a uh, huge hope for the improvement of our toilet conditions. We were able to connect with people from different walks of life. When we visited the toilets, this project also opened up my eyes to social issues in which I previously turned a blind eye to. It inspires me to continue utilizing statistics statistics to come up with such a solution for all these issues. So over to you, Lily. Thank you, Chini. So with the ongoing situation, I feel that there's a group of people deserving of further recognition and that will be none other than the cleaners themselves. Over to you, Kaldora. Thanks, Lily. As you can tell, the cleaners have to put in extra hours and effort to ensure common areas are disinfected, exposing them to a higher risk of contracting COVID-19. Over to you, Simi. Thank you, Kaldora. So we feel that it is essential to recognize their hard work, which could be done through additional hazard pay. Besides that, as patrons, it is crucial for us to practice good hygiene and good toilet habits to maintain public toilet cleanliness. Although we have faced several challenges along the way, ranging from finding willing survey participants to drawing conclusions from the data, it has been a fruitful journey. Singapore is often regarded as a clean first world country. And our public toilet should also fit this image. Before starting on Waterloo, the, the whole process seemed daunting and nearly impossible. However, as time went by, we managed to get organized, plan, and execute everything needed for this project. Furthermore, we will not have been able to do it without Miss Ching's assistance and guidance. I would love to share with you more about the process of Waterloo. However, it will take forever. Let me share with you how we felt instead. So my group and I have created a poem which expresses our feelings through Waterloo. So let's take a look now. Waterloo, Waterloo, what did I get myself into? Waterloo, I felt like abstaining from you. Waterloo, you made me pump the deck and clear the clocks. Waterloo, I thought you should be dropped, but oh, Waterloo, you told me to not. 
for the many lessons you taught, for the smiles and frowns you brought, for the hours spent and the tears shed. It was worth so much in the end. Waterloo, Waterloo, we're so glad we got ourselves into you. We want to thank all of you, our partners, and Miss Ching for giving us the chance to be part of this wonderful project. Thank you. We would like to express our deepest appreciation and our gratitude towards Dr. Tio, as well as our deepest gratitude and our appreciation towards our professor, Ms. Rosie Ching, whose continual guidance, support, and constructive criticism has helped us immensely through this learning journey. For your support, Dr. Tio. Thank you for giving, giving us the chance to express this. Thank you for all your support in making this project successful. Thank you. So, thank you so much for giving us this platform for us to express ourselves and learn so much more about STEPs. Thank you. Hello, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support for our project. In addition, we would like to thank WTO, SKM, PHC, and RAS for all your support. We appreciate your constant support throughout this journey. Thank you. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you, Dr. Teo and other patrons for supporting us in this Waterloo adventure. I would like to thank everyone for your continued support in this project and for coming along with us on this journey. Thanks for understanding and everything. Express our gratitude for all the partners of this project and Ms. Ching and share, us, share about our learning experience. I'd like to thank Ms. Ching because with her constant support and effort, we were able to do this project in a good manner and without her it would not have been possible. So thank you and stay safe. Bye! Bye. Oh, actually Ms. Ching did most of the work but I, <laughs> like, I'm glad that we all put through it together. Thank you, Dr. Teo, for believing in us and joining us in this Waterloo journey. We hope that through this, third world behaviour can be changed to first world. I can't describe just how grateful I am to everyone who helped me this far, and most of all, Ms. Ching, for giving me the opportunity to take up this role twice. We do these things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Thank you once again, Ms. Ching, Dr. Teo, and our wonderful project partners. Peace, Peace love, 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 Sir, if you're not be meeting me, I'll close down for a while.